Hello and welcome uh, to this new video. Uh, we'll continue our ESM installation uh, chapter and now we'll start with the hands-on. So uh, we already uh, walked through the uh, OS version uh, layout, the sizing, the uh, steps for the installation. So now uh, let's move for the hands-on. So I'll just go to uh, my uh, virtual uh, environment i will create a new virtual machine and then i will select i will install the operating system later uh, i will select centos version 7 64 bit then next i will name this uh, esm 7 okay I'll put here in my in this directory. On my D drive. Hopefully I have more space on that drive. Uh, next. Uh, as we explained here, we'll uh, allocate 25 GB for the first partition and 135 for the second. So select here 25 next and then i will customize the hardware we uh, didn't speak about this uh, memory and cpu uh, actually if you check the uh, these are the two documents uh, that uh, we uh, that i installed uh, sorry i downloaded this is the arcsitis uh, esm uh, installation guide Uh, for version 7 and this is the support uh, metrics for uh, version 7.0 okay uh, batch 2 so uh, if you check here this is the section for the uh, ASM installation actually if you check here you can see uh, as a Part of the uh, preparation for the installation, if it gives you three um, categories for the hardware requirements: the minimum, the mid-range, the high performance. And for the minimum, it tells you eight cores and sixteen preferred. So I I can afford this in, on my laptop. Uh, 40 GB. I actually don't have this. I will try to allocate as much RAM as possible. Uh, and then the hard disk you can have from like 600 GB disk, uh, 600 six 600 GB uh, hard disks. So I will just put small uh, hard disk because uh, this just for illustrative purposes. So, uh, but these are the common ranges that you can use in minimum, uh, mid-range, or high performance, uh, depending on the customer uh, size. So, uh, returning back, I will stick to these figures I put here for you. So, uh, the as we we saw together, the memory I I will put the maximum I can put here is like 16 and for the processor I would put uh, 4 and then here I will select the image here is the uh, ISO for the uh, version uh, 7.3 I will select uh, VM, uh, VMNet 8. This is the the, uh, the the subnet that I'm using to have access for my virtual machines to the internet. It's net mode, net, net mode. And I think uh, we are good to go, uh, but I need to add one more hard disk. Can we can close this now? I can finish and then we can edit. 
later so I will edit here now uh, you can see the RAM is 16 CentOS 7 and we can edit here the um, to add one more hard disk I have this 25 I will add another one I will select 135 as per the presentation yes the second partition okay so uh, we are ready to go i'll just make sure everything is okay so we are good to go uh, so i will start the virtual machine Okay, so I will select the first option to install directly without testing the media. It will take uh, some time until it comes to um, uh, an action window. So I will stop the video for now and I will continue once we uh, once I receive this next window. Now it's asking for the language, so. Select English, continue, and then here uh, we can set up the time zone. So I select date and time. My time zone is uh, Asia Qatar. So I will just select here Qatar. Okay, and uh, select here the correct time. My time now is uh, 1 a.m. So I'll just I'll correct this. 24 hours, okay, or 1 a.m. as you like. Then I click done. So now it's Asia Qatar, as you can see, everything seems good. Software selection minimal install, so that we, we need to fix this. If you remember the PowerPoint, we said that we need at least the web server option and we need development tools and a compatibility library. So we need to modify this. So I'll select the compatibility libraries and the development tools. And I will select uh, basic web server. Uh, okay, so uh, you don't select from here. You select from the uh, the option, the environment. So uh, we don't need all of this. At least you, you select basic web server. You can take more the, like the server with GUI. Uh, so just this is uh, good enough and from here i'll select the compatibility library and the development where is it okay compatibility library and development tools then i select done it's checking the media so it's basic web server now and you can verify okay it's good um, Next, we need to yes select the partitioning. So before that, I will make the network and host name. So I will enable my Ethernet. I will configure it. So here I will put um, the IP version four settings. I select manual. And then I will add IP, give it 192.168.74.128 and submit mask 24. I'll make it actually like the, yes, it's 74.128, okay. 
and the gateway is 192.168.74.2 and the DNS I will rely on the quad 9 DNS on the internet so I will save it now so here is the IP and the gateway everything seems good but the very important one this one is m7 i will name my host is m7 and apply and then uh, done now we need to change the automatic partitioning uh, to be uh, custom partitioning because we have a custom layout uh, desired for the asn installation so uh, here uh, I will select both uh, hard disks and then I will uh, modify this to be, I will configure partitioning, and then click done. Then I will select standard partition. Uh, here we see the total space is coming. So I'll start with the, according to our presentation, will allocate around uh, 6, uh, 9 GB, sorry, no, yeah, 9 GB for the root. So it will be like 9 multiplied by 1024, it's 9 to 1, 6, 9 to 1, 6 for this root. And uh, we uh, will set it for ext4 file system then we need for the swab we need six so six multiplied by 124 so 6144 6144 again the this is the swab uh, file system and then slash boot with three only so it's 3 multiply by 124, so 30, 20, 72, add mount point, and change to xt4. Then we need the slash temp, locate like 7 GB. So 7 multiply by 124, so 7168. 7168 for the slash ten. Okay. But actually, we need this inside the SDA one, not so I modify this to be here. Uh, okay, this temp here. Yeah. So now Tim, you can see it's SDA2. So SDA1, SDA2, SDA3, and the swab is coming SDB1. We need this to be in the SDA or also select. Uh, it, it's, it keeps moving. Um, I think because I take exactly the numbers okay so we can if we reduce this little bit like uh, if we take okay i got it so if we if we make the 10 like uh six seven one six six for example okay and then we go here ah now all is sda so it was not taking, this is good for that it happens now, it was not taking the uh, all of them inside the SDA, uh, which is the first partition, because uh, I put a big amount for the temp. Um, it was just one, one mega extra or two mega extra, exceeded the size of SDA one. That's why. So we can, one two three we can i think we can rename this to be sda no uh, ah you can you cannot change the name actually 
is coming automatically okay no problem does matter for us so uh, we need to go and select slash opt slash arc site with the 135 GB so to be 135 multiplied by 1024 so 138 138 240 240 it will be like 238 because okay it coming is db1 so we will put here again ext4 so let's uh, verify everything now so we have sda1 sda2 sda5 and sda3 this is the first partition the system and we have the data as 135 gb so i think we are good now always ext4 uh, only the 10 is xfs so that's good that we noted this so or and i think we are good to go so now i'll press done changes so just to verify we have everything ready and done 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 so begin installation uh, we set the root password i'll make it simple like arc site for sure this is not recommended you have to put some strong password and the user creation we can create here uh, arc site as a user or uh, let's leave it actually to be the okay let's do it arc site the password is arc site as well uh, okay so uh, now the installation is going on okay i'll stop the video for now i will get back uh, when it's completed so uh, now the installation is completed and it's asking me to reboot uh, let's conclude this video uh, where, where we uh, installed the operating system and uh, in the next videos we will continue with the uh, ESM uh, installation thanks for watching and see you in next video